right, you already know it's National Hispa Hispanic Heritage Month, and colleges and universities across the U.S. are ramping up efforts to recruit more diverse faculty members and help bridge the gap when it comes to diversity. So our race and cultural reporter, Candace Red, she's here with us now. Candace, always so good to see you, first of all, I want to say. But Candace, what is the state of college faculty diversity right now? Well, Alex, good evening to you. Well, the latest government statistics show that white people make up the majority of faculty in higher education. Again, that's nationwide. And Hispanic faculty are one of the most underrepresented groups. But a university in our own backyard, Sacramento State, is working to change that. What was it like to attend a Mexican school? On Tuesdays... What I love the most about my job is definitely working with students. Dr. Alma Flores teaches race and ethnicity courses at California State University, Sacramento. And so I'm not only teaching courses about issues of educational inequity, educational injustice. And why is my child being segregated? But I'm also trying really hard to change things. Flores was born in Jalisco, Mexico. She immigrated to the U.S. at eight years old. So I grew up in Santa Barbara. I went to UCLA. I did my undergrad there. Eventually went to the University of Texas for my master's and then came back to UCLA for my doctorate. Flores credits Latino mentors for her success in education. It's really important to, for me at least, acknowledge all those people that really took the time to mentor me and help me get here. Flores began teaching at Sac State in fall 2018. Upper middle class, predominantly white, had racial comments. She's an assistant professor in undergraduate studies in the education department. So when I started at Sac State, I felt like the mentorship was not there. There was very few uh, faculty of color that were hired. Sac State had 1,772 faculty members in fall 2018. 1,155 were white, 128 were Latino. The majority of students were Latino. Fast forward to fall 2021, Sac State had 1,098 white faculty compared to 152 Latino faculty. The university enrolled 11,327 Latino students. The disproportionate amount of of Latino faculty to students is a big thing that concerns me because for me, I didn't have a Latino professor or teacher until I got to college. We can do more and we can hire more. Tata Nai Villalba, who identifies as Mexican-American, is studying at Sac State to become a school psychologist. She says Hispanic representation in education matters. Being able to see professors like Professor Flores, who's passionate it just makes me want to be passionate about what I'm going into, and it makes me feel more reassured that I have a chance. We are working hard to make sure that our faculty look like our students. Dr. Robert Nelson has been Sac State's president since 2015. He says the university dedicated two people to help in the hiring search to ensure diversity and inclusion this year. We are very proud that this year we hired 63 new faculty members and 53% of them were people of color. 10 of them were Hispanic. Sac State is recognized as an Hispanic Serving Institution, or HSI, with at least 25% of Hispanic undergraduate students. That means the university can compete for federal funding. It's not just good to be an HSI. We're here to serve our students. The U.S. Department of Education designated Sac State an HSI in February 2015. Since then, the university has received more than $16 million in federal funds. The university says the funds are used for projects and programs to help enhance educational opportunities for students. We are dedicated to our 37% students who are Latinx. We're proud of them and we want to make sure that they feel that they belong here. I have the determination to succeed, and so Sac State is willing to give me that. Vielba says Sac State was her first college choice, specifically because of the student diversity on campus. When it comes to faculty, she says, We can benefit more from having a, a Hispanic educator, and so the more we have, I feel like the more we're going to grow as a school. While Vielba counts on Flores for representation, how Mexican students experience school segregation. Flores says she's leaning on a small group of faculty at Sac State. I am very grateful for the Chicana Latina faculty that I can count on that have helped me build community here. 
Um, and so I would want to just reiterate the significance and importance of mentorship, of really taking care of students um, who often do not see themselves in spaces like higher education.